Hello everyone, I'm Simon and welcome to Cold Water Tanks. Another update from the 1000 liter tank today. Uh, by the time of this footage, uh, it's been about two months since I uh, added the first crabs to the tank. And so far, so good. Uh, for the first few weeks though, the crabs were a bit shy. Uh, and they went away when the lights came on. But that's not unusual though, and, uh, and by now the crabs are used to my presence. And they won't go into hiding right away. They don't seem to care about me too much anymore, except that they seem to expect a snack coming their way once I'm, once I'm there. The anemone is starting to look much better than it did when I included it as well, which is a relief. It would be a real bummer to lose it, as it's incredibly cool. And the crabs still seem to be drawn to the anemone in the tank, so, so they obviously like having it there. I've been trying to feed it pieces of fish and mussels, and it does seem to eat it. And I was a bit shocked though when I came down to this site one morning. And the water was incredibly cloudy, and I noticed the anemone had some white mucus like stuff on it. I have to admit I was a bit worried that it was dying there. And I just made sure though that the pumps were clean and working and a day or two later the water was completely clear again and everything seemed fine. And probably it was just getting rid of some waste or, or possibly it's related to spawning. I don't know. What do you think is more likely? I also added a bunch of these antipods to the tank, as I'm guessing they're probably good to have in there, both as cleanup crew and possible food for some of the bigger critters. The anemone hermits seem to have adapted well to the tank as well. And like the crabs, they also started out very shy, but now seem not very affected by my presence at all. Uh, also like the crabs, blue mussels seem to be the favorite meal for the anemone hermits. They really are bulky little fellas.
and this one is doing a bit of a house cleaning. Even though they are one of my absolute favorite creatures, uh, I am actually considering taking them out of the tank. Now, the reason for that is, uh, is what you can see here. Now, the hermits regularly sift through the sand looking for food, uh, which is not something I really want, seeing as I, I want to make use of the deep sand bed as a method of filtration. And to have that work, I need as many small creatures living in the sand as possible. And thus, uh, creatures going through the sand for food is not ideal. They do only seem to go through the very upper layers of the sand though, so it might be okay. I'm not really sure. And what do you think? I really don't want to get rid of them to be honest, as they're just so fun. But if it's them or the deep sand bed, it's uh, definitely up for consideration. One thing that was a bit of a bonus was that the, the big anemone decided to move to the front of the big rock it was sitting on, which is perfect. And it looks better when it's facing the front of the tank. I just hope it'll stay here, as uh, moving to the other side of the rock is also an option. I, I guess I'll just have to enjoy it for as long as it lasts. A real gathering of the crabs around this anemone. feeding the anemone a piece of fish or, or shrimp here. Anyways, that's all for this update, hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please press the like button to help my channel, and please leave a comment if you have any kind of feedback or questions, I love hearing from you all. So until next time, thanks for watching!